Hey y'all, my name is Luke. I make bags and I also have a boat project going on, but today I'm here at North Sales in Minden, Nevada. This is building one. And just wanted to show you guys a little bit of how they make sails here. Most advanced sail loft in the world, making the world's best sails for everything from your smaller boats to your super yachts. So let's go ahead and take a look at how they do that. So it starts over in building two where they have these creels holding these rolls of raw yarn. And they could be anything from carbon fiber to aramid to Cuban fiber, Dyneema spectra, all these kind of ultra high polyethylene fibers that are really strong and really light. And they combine them to get the right attributes they want with resin and 30 different factors including heat, cooling, pressure, tension, all that kind of stuff has to be dialed in for them to get the right result ready for the tape laying head, which is the next step. These tape laying heads are using this fiber that has a resin in it that's not quite gone off. So it's a temperature controlled thing, kind of like pre-preg resin when it comes to boat building and aerospace composites, where basically there's a temperature activated resin within this fiber that when cured gets really, really strong. So all these flat sheets that are being made in this facility will later be joined together to create a big sail on a three-dimensional mold. So they leave these scarf joints or tapers around the edges so that when they do get combined, it is one super solid single piece. And on this other line, the Cuban fiber material is laid up in wider sheets or in a roll form to make stuff for paneled sail making and other cut and sew products, you know, like your high performance backpacks, for instance. But it all goes into this autoclave, which is a combination high pressure, high heat environment under vacuum. So they're just making sure they get the best result possible. Second day, we got to go to building number one, which is the larger facility where they have all these molds that can be adjusted to make the perfect shape for any size boat. And here they start combining those flat sheets we saw earlier with those scarf joints around the edges together to make big three-dimensional sails based on the best characteristics for that boat, which involves making custom vacuum bags to make sure that it conforms to the shape just as well, and then heat treating the whole thing to create one giant, strong, flexible piece of fabric that's perfectly three-dimensionally shaped. Once the whole surface is heat treated like this at about 100 degrees Celsius under vacuum, they can take the vacuum film off and let it cure fully for a few days on the floor. afternoon I went for a little trail run. I tried to find a dirt trail over to Genoa or Genoa which was the first Mormon settlement out here in 
along the aft edge of the sail, the trailing edge, which is called the leech. They sew in a thin control line, which helps you control your sail and get the best shape out of it. But when you get up to maxi and super yachts, the system gets more complicated and the scale gets a lot bigger too. It's just so cool how they have these molds that can be adjusted to make any kind of sail. And here's the curing floor where the sails go for a few days after that before they get shipped off to sail lofts around the world to be finished. And they do the same thing for America's Cup and all the top end racers, so you know they do it right. The round tubs for the sewing machines are interchangeable and electronically rotatable. So it's pretty awesome to have these big heavy sails and you can just use a little joystick to turn the sewing machine around in a circle so that you can get the best feed going into it. The company was started in 1957 by Lowell North, who was a great sailor and a great sailmaker. And it's just been expanding ever since and doing new things new ways. I'm just kind of a nerd for this manufacturing process stuff and uh, it was really cool to see in person all the molds and all the machines and just how they have things so nicely set up. And the slings that they have to work up above on these molds like that are cool. Uh, they have these literal chillers, these coolers to keep the resin cool and ways to keep your floor clean with these sticky mats. They've been making America's Cup sales going way back, so they know all about the science of it and of how to make it just right, and they bring all that for cruising sales as well. From spools of yarn to rolls to go on the tape head layer to make those smaller pieces on the flat molds to go onto the three-dimensional mold and get vacuum bag and cured, it's quite the process and it's pretty impressive. Thanks so much for watching. For those of you who don't know, it's how I learned to sew originally, working at North Sales in Portland and in Seattle, doing sail repair, making boat covers, that kind of stuff. So anyway, thanks again, and hopefully I'll have some fun, exciting news soon.